if you're doing any sort of electrical work, I highly, highly recommend getting one of these. And it is a non-contact voltage detector. You don't know if somebody turned the wrong breaker off with the lights burnt out or the switch that you're working on isn't connected properly yet, but this thing's gonna tell you. So this is what I'm plugging everything into. What you can do is just come up to any cord or outlet, the small hole, and you can see that. It'll even work on, like these are my just extension cords. It's even working on those to tell me that there's power on that cord. Now, if I had this plugged in over here, when I run this along, it's gonna tell me that that's electrically hot. How does this thing work? Well, if you've ever been a kid <laughs> and ever gone up to a television that had bunny ears, I know we're already dating ourselves here, and you just touch or wiggle and you notice how the screen, the, the image changes on the television, that's because you're causing interference. You're causing a change in the electrical circuit. So what's interesting about these little meters is when you get close to a live electrical current, there's a small amount of radio frequency given off by a, an alternating current. And so that's what it's essentially detecting here. So this is the meter right here. It's got a, a non-conductive end as well. So you can stick that right into an outlet and you're not gonna hurt anything. Batteries in here, it's doing its little beeping thing. This one, check that out. <laughs> It's got an integrated light. Now that's an upgrade off of my Fluke ones. Let me show you how it works real quick. So again, I can come over here and I can push the NCV, the no contact voltage. And there's two different ranges. There's 12 to 1000 volts of AC and 70 to 1000 volts. Now that's a high and a low range. Don't expect this thing to work on DC. So a lot of times DC is pretty safe, but don't be uh, playing with a DC circuit and going, oh, that, that doesn't have anything. Let me touch these jumper cables together because this is really only for AC that's putting off that current. But let me show you how sensitive this thing is. I'm on the outside of the box, and you can see that it's telling me that there's current here. This is the Klein Tools non-contact voltage tester, receptacle tester, it's also saying. And it has the uh, built-in light, which I think is really slick. Even though I've unplugged it, I'm going to go ahead and double check these outlets. They're tamper-resistant outlets, which may have been why I didn't get a, a trigger before on them but I can double check the circuits. Comes with batteries in my kit. Um, there's also this unit, which I'm gonna show you now. If you have these two tools in your electrical bag, you can do absolutely so much with them. It's just amazing. So with this tool, the main purpose of it is to check regular US wall plugs. So when you go ahead and plug it in, it's gonna tell you with these lights on the end, if it's wired properly, if it's not wired properly. So I'm gonna turn this thing on. So it just did a quick light test when I turned it on, and then you can hit the button to test the GFI there as well. It's saying open hot. Now I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna plug it in the outlet, and what I want you to see is that green right away. So green means I've wired this outlet, my test outlet, good, which hopefully is a good thing. Now if I hit the test button, what that's actually doing is it's not gonna test the whole circuit. It's already testing the circuit right now. What it's actually gonna do is if I had an inline ground fault circuit interrupter GFCI outlet, it would actually um, trip that. It has a very, very small, I believe it's a resistor in there. And the goal of that one is to trip a GFI outlet so that you can tell if your GFI is working. So it's shown me that it's 120 volts AC and it's correct. That's what it's saying at the bottom. So that's exactly what we wanna see. If you had an outlet that wasn't correct, it would indicate that as well and it would tell you why it wasn't correct if there was an issue. Now, like I said, I can push this test button and it just tested it, but it didn't shut off. You notice that? And the reason that is, is that this uh, whole circuit is not GFI protected. So that is uh, basically a fail on the GFI test now.